one. This is my 1969 Mach 1 Mustang that I've owned since it was brand new. Um, tell me some things you like about the car. What 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 impresses you the most? Um, the speed. <laughs> Oh, you fit the Um, <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my okay. god, it's, okay. a, it's a long story. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't find nothing.
<laughs> How you doing? Yeah, you don't need me in there. <laughs>
Olha lá, hein? You want to 
Your house, you'd have to look at it. She'll play golf all the time. Tuesday, Thursday. <laughs> I want to see what you see. I mean, tell me about your car. Okay, I'm Saritha Barbie from okay. Goldsboro. Okay. And um, this is my 1969 Mach 1 Mustang that I've owned since it was brand new. And um, uh, my husband at that time went out to buy a lawnmower <laughs> and I had another car that was even prettier and he traded it for this 69. Okay. So now what was the other car he traded for? Uh, it was a, Farlane, a Ford Fairlane GT. Okay. Um, and it was really pretty. And I cried, but I said, well, I like this car, so I think I'll keep it. Okay. So that's what I did. And I've had it restored and Carter Weeks from Mount Olive restored it for me. Inside, outside, it's as pretty underneath as it is in the motor and the trunk and inside. It's got a 351 Cleveland and it runs really, really good. Okay. Now, this was a daily driver at, at one point in your life? The what now? Was this a daily driver at, at one point in your life? Like when you first got it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And your primary I, source of transportation? Yes. And okay. I restored it and put it in the garage and just drive it occasionally. Okay. Now, how long was it a daily driver? How many um, years? It was a daily driver for probably, I don't know, 25 years. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me some things you like about the car. What what, what impresses you the most? Um, the speed. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it's got power and you can just get out of anybody's way and get on down the road and... And all the people that, that, you know, give you high fives and thumbs up. Oh, that's a pretty car. And where did you get it and how long you've had it? Okay. Um, do you mind if I look at the interior on your car? No, I don't. Okay. I, I wasn't able to a while ago. Uh, and I thank you for taking the time oh, to show it welcome. to me. Um, so this is the original color of the interior and yes, everything? everything is original. And I've, the, what I liked about the 69s was this this vent right here. <laughs> That's the only thing I noticed the difference between the 69 and the 70. I know that there's some other things, but yeah. I do notice that that little vent. Okay. And I love the louvers. And did, did the louvers come with the no, car? We added the louvers and we added this spoiler here. And okay. The spoiler in the front. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. But I do remember back in the day, everybody had the louvers too. Oh yeah. And they served the function too. They yeah. kept the frost off your windows. Yeah. Okay. And so, is there any way reason why he picked the Mach One at that time? I don't know. I wasn't okay. with him, so I don't know. Okay. Okay. But, um. See, I have the license plate, the 1969 license plate. Mm -hmm. That's the color of the license plates in 1969. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay. Well, look.
All right, how you doing, sir? All right, how you doing? All right, if you could tell me your name and tell me what this car is. My name is Ernie. This is a 1986 Buick Regal Limited. Buick Regal Limited? Yes. Okay. And what's different about this Regal compared to others? Uh, well, motor. Okay, let's talk. Well, we can start off talking about that then. Yeah. 73 Buick 455, it's 30 over, so that makes it a 462. Okay. Uh, mild cam, modded quadrajet, headers, stainless steel exhaust. It's a little warmer than stock. Okay. Now those headers, mm -hmm. um, how did you get those headers to fit? Uh, the hammer. Okay, all right, no problem. Yeah, they're shorty headers. and then Okay, uh, that helped out. And... Uh, a couple of dinks here and there to clear and stuff. Okay. Now, which AC bracket did you use? Because I know that this doesn't look like a... All the accessories on this came from the original V6. Okay. They do bolt up. They try to get slightly longer belts. Okay. That's good to know. Yep. The 3.8. Mm -hmm. This hose had to be shortened a little bit. Okay. And that's about it. The brackets? The brackets are all stock. 231 brackets. Oh, that is good to know. Mm -hmm. That is good to know. Okay, and how did you come up with this idea? Well, my buddy gave me the car and the motor and did what I had to to make it work. Okay, all right. No, it's not a real GS. They didn't make a GS in this year, so I did. Okay, okay, all right. Um, what else is different about it? It's got oh. a really trick distributor in it. It's Bluetooth. I can set a timing curve on my phone. Okay. Send it right over, and you don't have to play with weights and this, that, and the other thing. Okay. This doesn't look like an ATI or anything no, like that. That is a progression ignition. They're out of Florida somewhere. Okay. All uh, right. I could actually start. Yeah, you know, pull up my cell phone. It will show me live data how the car is. I can change where I want the timing and all that stuff, and send it to the distributor, and off it goes. That looks like a QJet carburetor. It is, but it's wow. modified. I don't care. It's, it's, it's fascinating. That's an 800 CFM quadrant off a 76 Buick. Okay. Okay. But it's modified. Uh, I've enlarged the fuel bowl. Uh, a few other little things. It does not hesitate at all, any mm -hmm. way, shape, or form. Okay. Like most quadrants. Every quadrant I had was good, good, good performance. I ain't never had a problem out of quadrant. This thing will never. smoke the tires down to the rims. Okay. Everybody's like Holly, Holly, Holly. No, I, I ain't. I, I can't no, stand Holly. No, um, I've always had um, good experience with quadrant. Mm -hmm. And this is the regulator right here. Yep. Okay. The fuel pump puts out slightly more pressure than it would like. So that's when it looks cool, and you know. You got electric fuel pump? No, mechanical. Okay. Okay. The only electronic anything in this whole thing is distributed. Okay, it. now tell me about this paint scheme. What the motor? Ooh. No, is this, is this a Grand National? Or? No, this is a Regal. It's not. A, that's a Grand National. This right. Is not. Well, I was just talking about the. I was talking about the paint scheme. This is black because honestly, black was the cheapest color I could find. Okay. Okay. It was originally a black cherry color. Okay. And the difference was about seven hundred dollars a gallon between the two. Black could do just fine for the less price. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I, I love it. Don't get me wrong. No, 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 no. Good. What I like about it is you have the chrome bumpers. I don't yeah. think the Grand Nationals had the chrome bumpers. No, they did not. Actually, okay. my, my buddy who painted this tried to talk me into painting them, and I'm like, no, it's not uh -uh. a Grand National. That looks good. That looks good. And so it was no problem getting it to fit up in there. Not really. No, it's tight. Yeah. I, I can actually get that valve cover off without having to take the motor and doing anything with it. It'll unfold. And, and your AC works? Yes. Everything okay. on this car works. Okay. It's a street car. I'm not going to hack it up. You know right. I mean? Thank you for not doing that. Okay. Wheels are American racing, but they look very similar to a modernized Buick's rally wheel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had the original 14s, but getting decent-sized tires for that nowadays is a headache. No, you can't find them. And this was the, um, this is the way the interior came. It came with bucket no, seat. No, this came with a 60-40 bench. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with the 60-40 bench, you already have the studs on the floor for buckets. Okay. And okay. I added the console. That's a Hearst V-Matic ratchet shifter. Okay. Which is fine. Okay. And uh, it's a mostly stock, it's a stock, redone. it's mostly a stock interior. Okay, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. The gauge cluster I made myself. Right. 
you know, 85 mile an hour speedometer yeah. isn't really useful in this. Mm -mm, not, not with this, no. <laughs> Would you like me to go over some of the modifications? Yeah, yes. So with the front brakes. Those are 2000 Chevy S10 brakes along mm -hmm. with the uh, steering knuckles and they use uh, wheel hubs instead of bearings. Okay. So they're dual piston caliper, a little bit bigger. Okay. The master cylinder is from a 91 Caprice. Okay. So it has a much bigger master cylinder, and it'll it'll come to a stop. Okay. Did you have to do a lot of fabricating to get that no, to work? No, no bolted in. Okay. Okay. Uh, the steering box is from a 1995 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And what that has is a faster ratio of steering, like like the older muscle cars could have. Mm -hmm. But it costs about a third of the price, and it's actually available. Okay, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yep. What year? 95. 95, okay. Steering shaft is from a, 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 a downsized Cherokee, an XJ. Okay. It doesn't, have a, it doesn't have a rag joint. Okay. Tightens the steering up. Okay. Uh, let's see, aftermarket up and control arms. It's got a 1992 uh, GTA sway bar, so it's a 30 mil, 36 millimeter sway bar in the front. I think actually handles too. Okay. I see it look like you have two A arms. Yep, the upper ones. The only reason I do with the aftermarket ones is quite simply the headers melted the bushings out of the stock. Okay, okay, okay. You know, these have these are aluminum bushings and they'll be greased, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Um uh, that's really all the front suspension. The rear end is out of a 97 uh, 87 Grand National. Okay. So it's an 8.5 rear with 342s. 342s, okay. And what kind of transmission you got on Turbo there? 400. This is actually a numbers matching transmission to this motor. It came out of the okay. same car. All right. It's now. been reworked. It'll handle about 700 horsepower. It's got a 4L80E direct drum in it. It's just kit. Okay. Yeah, things like that. And the only reason I was asking because I think these came with overdrive and that would help you That's on the highway. Good. This, oh, yeah, but there's only two overdrive options for me. A 200R4, and that would cost me more money to make it hold up to this. Or a 4L80E, which is an electronic 400, and I don't want to be bothered mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. with that and the computer and all right, that stuff. Right, right. I don't drive this long distance, so it's not an issue. Okay, okay. That's pretty much it. Stereo system is, you know, typical aftermarket stuff. Nothing right, crazy. right, right. Loud enough for me, I don't need to vibrate down the Right, 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 right. That's about it. Okay. Well, look, thanks for talking to me about, Anytime. about your car, because I'm real happy. Yours? No, no, no. We were just trying to stand out of the way of everybody. Sorry. Are you okay?
How you doing? Hey there. Hey, look. Could you please tell me about this car before the music comes back yeah, on? I'm sorry. Sure. This is a Mitsuoka Lacy. This is a car that was manufactured in Japan. Mitsuoka is the uh, tenth largest car manufacturer in Japan. This car was built in 1991. There were 500 of these cars built. This is number 128. Okay. This is actually a car manufactured car. This is not a kit. Okay. All right. And it's it's hard to do. I ain't going to never get a clean shot of this car. <laughs> never. Oh. You all right, man. You all right. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to stop for a minute. Hold on. Hold on, he says. Because, because look. You all right?
Hard to get a clean shot.
Ain't got that sapphire blue from Harry Hoover's. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but them eyes in the back of my head ain't working. You can drop in. 
sours. Are you good?
Thank you.